developed an interest in poetry at a young age and wrote throughout his life. His earliest works were published in the mid-1890s in Canadian magazines and newspapers. McCray's poetry often focused on death and the peace that followed. At the age of 41, McCray enrolled in the Canadian Expeditionary Force following the outbreak of the First World War. He had the option of joining the Medical Corps due to his training in age, but volunteered instead to join a fighting unit as a gunner and a medical officer. This was his second tour of duty in the Canadian military. He had previously fought as a volunteer force in the Second Boer War, and he considered himself a soldier first. His father was a military leader in Guelph, and McCray grew up believing the duty of fighting for his country and empire. McCray fought in the Second Battle of Ypres in Flanders region of Belgium, where the German army launched one of the first chemical attacks in the history of the war. This was an area that the Allied soldiers couldn't even pronounce, so they call it wipers. <coughs> the gas attack attacked the Canadian position with chlorine gas on April 22nd, 1915, but were, were unable to break the Canadian line, which held for over two weeks. And in a letter <coughs> written to his mother, McCray described the battle as a nightmare. For 17 days and 17 nights, none of us had our clothes off, nor our boots even, except occasionally. In all that time I was awake, gunfire and rifle fire never ceased for 60 seconds. And behind it all was the constant background of the sights of the dead, the wounded, the maimed, and the terrible anxiety lest the line should give way. On May 2nd, 1915, McCray's close friend and former student, Alexis Helmer, was killed by a German shell. That evening, in the absence of the chaplain, John McCray recited from memory a few passages from the Church of England's Order of Burial of the Dead. <clears throat> For security reasons, Helmer's burial in Essex Farm Cemetery was performed in complete darkness. Reports vary as to what happened the next day, but from most accounts, John McCray was seen seated on the back of an ambulance scribbling with a piece of paper. And the poem that he produced is very well known throughout the world. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow beneath the crosses, row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours, that lift it high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' field. 